Welcome to this video where we will demonstrate the setup of the GeneUp self-test and run on the GeneUp instrument using the open software. Step 1. Creating the self-test tubes. To create a new set of self-test tubes, you will need the following items. Eppendorf tubes with their clear optical caps, GeneUp PCR tube holder, GeneUp lysis tube remover and capper. The self-test tubes can be reused repeatedly until there are physical signs of deterioration. Some signs of deterioration include, but are not limited to, frayed or broken connecting pieces, matte finish on the optical caps from overuse, discoloration of the tubes. It is important to make sure the orientation when setting up the self-test PCR tube holder is correct. Make sure the A1 on the PCR tube holder is oriented to match the A1 position on the GeneUp Electroform heating block. Wearing powder-free nitrile gloves, remove the tubes from the bag by pushing the tubes out. Note the orientation tabs on both the tubes and the caps. Place all the tubes with the A side orientation tab in the A row. Place the caps so the A tabs of the tubes are under the A tabs of the optical caps. Apply pressure on the caps with the Gene Up capper tool. Ensure that the edge of the capper tool is over the tubes. Improper alignment of the capper tool over the caps will not properly seal the caps on the tubes. The tubes are now ready to be used for a self-test analysis. Note, when not in use, the self-test tubes can be stored by storing them in a plastic bag or container. Step 2. Running the daily self-test on the open software. Open the GeneUp instrument by pressing on the top panel. Insert the prepared self-test PCR plate holder with the strips and the caps onto the electroform heating block. Pull the door to close. After opening the open software, log in and click on the Tools button, the wrench, located on the global toolbar on the right-hand side of the screen. The Tools window will open. On the left-hand side of the screen, select the Instrument tab. Make sure that the software is connected to the instrument. Select the Self-Test tab. Select the Self-Test button. A warning window will open. Warning! Self-Test should not be conducted after the samples are placed in instrument. Click the check mark. This is just to ensure you put the self-test tubes into the instrument before running. The instrument will run the self-test for about five minutes. During this process, the GeneUp door will open and close. Make sure not to remove the plate until the software tells you that it has been completed. The self-test must be run at least once per day prior to your first sample run, or when the GeneUp thermal cycler is powered on. Once the self-test completes, the results will display in the self-test message box. If a self-test fails, the report will indicate fail and or the instrument's LED will flash blue and red. If this should happen, power cycle off and on the GeneUp by pulling on the face plate until the status light turns off. Then push on the face plate to turn on. Wait until the status light turns to a solid blue. Rerun the self-test following the previous steps. If the self-test fails a second time, please call your BioMariu support. Please make sure you have your functional location or customer number ready.